A somber scene in St. Cloud as law enforcement lined up and watched a hearse leave St. Cloud Hospital. Law enforcement continuing to investigate the senseless killing of Aitken County Deputy Stephen Sandberg, who was killed early Sunday morning by 50-year-old Danny Hammond in the building. The suspect in a domestic-related incident was being watched by deputies from the Aitken County Sheriff's Office at the request of the St. Cloud Hospital. At some point, there was a struggle between the suspect in the room and the deputy that was overseeing uh, this individual early this morning. During that struggle, the deputy, um, his, his firearm was taken by the suspect in this incident, and the deputy was shot. And then security officers were able to get into the room, and the subject was tased with a taser and taken into custody. After he was taken into custody, he became unresponsive. Medical personnel performed uh, life-saving uh, operations on him, and he died at that time. As you can imagine, it's been just a, a, a whirlwind, whirlwind of, a, of events of this very tragic situation. Um, the thing I could offer is I would hope that uh, everyone would keep Investigator Sandberg, um, his wife and daughter, in their thoughts and prayers in the coming days. Um, Investigator Sandberg was, was part of the Aiken County Sheriff's Office since uh, 1991, having been an investigator um, with us for uh, over the last 20 years. So well, We are deeply committed to the safety and security of our patients and staff. Um, our hearts and prayers go out to the families of those that were involved in the incident. Um, we will continue to improve our operations to further secure the safety of our uh, patients and staff. And, we're very appreciative for the um, acts of our staff who um, contained this and, and kept it from being a, a bigger tragedy.